We've been through three main phases in the data centre here and we got Comtech in to design and install a new environmentally efficient data centre. That was in 2007 and back then we were getting approximate estimated PUE figures of around about 1.5. A few years later along came High Performance Computing Wales and said we want to put a whole load more supercomputers in there so we needed to add more racks, we needed to add more chillers but we could see that it was gradually getting less efficient over time and our PUE figure had crept up to maybe 1.7. So the last stage of the upgrade we had to make a case to the university for over half a million pounds of capital investment on the basis that we would be able to decrease the energy consumption by having much more efficient cooling and made a case to the university that says we will be able to deliver you a PUE of better than 1.4 and that means the payback time for that investment would be around the 8 to 10 years. In fact, we've achieved a PUE of very nearly 1.2 which means that payback period is now well below 5 years. So in the, in the past, general IT services and supercomputers used to exist in quite different environments, but with modern techniques of virtualizing, we're now finding that the infrastructure to support general IT and supercomputers is converging. Supercomputing tasks and the load put on them by researchers varies enormously. But if all the supercomputers happen to be running complex calculations all together, then that load will go up to 400, 450 kilowatts. That means you need a very good control environment and you need a lot of understanding of your control environment to make sure that it's running efficiently. Okay, so we already had um, what used to be called Infrastructure Centre and I think it's now called Data Centre Expert from Schneider Electric and that gave us a lot of the measurement numbers that we were interested in. The data centre energy efficiency module and the module in data centre operations has been very useful for us largely because it gives us both real-time data down to a minute-to-minute -minute variation and historical so I can look back over the last day, week, month and see how the PUE has been performing that I can look at water temperatures, leaving the chiller, entering the chiller, how fast the chiller's operating, how much the compressor pump is operating. All of those numbers, I have real-time graphs because it's only by having all this data in one place that I was able to discover things like that chiller running is wasting me 5,000 pounds of electricity a year. Schneider Electric's data center software is really useful for us. as A, saved us a load of money, B, it's allowed me to show the Chief Financial Officer and the Director of IT Services that the savings I'd promised have actually materialised. Just to put the numbers in context, that data centre, about £250,000 of electricity per year to run it. By having a good PUE going from 1.7 down to 1.2, I'm saving £125,000 of electricity every year. Thank you.